it's 10 years after the financial crisis and productivity growth in the UK is rather sluggish and at a much lower level than other economies like France and Germany and my research look at why. This is what the productivity puzzle is, which is means uh, not producing as much with the same resources as we used to. It might be, for example, that a car uh, factory can produce a given amount of car, but nobody will sell them, or it might be that this firm is just not able to produce a given amount of cars. Usually people will just look at sales of cars, whether within my research I can look at both the quality of cars and the quantity of cars. So I'm able to see, for example, if a firm is producing half of the cars but double the price, then it will be the same, the same result. What we find is that the production capacity of manufacturers uh, hasn't suffered much since 2008. The reason why there is revenue productivity is low is because there is not enough demand. We seem to be stuck in a situation in which demand is low and prices are low and revenue productivity is low and investment are low and this loop keeps continuing. As a matter of fact, in some industries, production capacity has actually increased quite considerably since 2008. But demand has been so low that despite this, productivity has still been very weak. Rather than spending money in increasing the production capacity of firm who is still there, we should rather end austerity and provide people with the money which is needed to boost demand and finally get the economy up.